Hello, my name is Robert Drugge and welcome to my channel. Yesterday I made a video about how to sprout the sweet potato through the water method. And that is, of course, do something like this. But today we're going to look at another uh, method, and that is the soil method. Uh, I read about this rather recently. But before we go into that, I need to... <laughs> I need to clarify something. I have gotten a lot of questions about my Alfa Romeo uh, and why I'm not doing any more videos about the uh, Alfa GT and that's because actually I had an incident with it last year and no, it didn't exist anymore. It's scrap. Eventually I'm looking to buy a new Alfa Romeo but with the Busso engine but we'll see where that happens. And so maybe in the future when I get one of those, a GT or something like that again, uh, we make new videos. But until then, let's do garden. Before we start doing the soil method to sprouting uh, sweet potatoes, let's just go through again why do we do this. Yeah, well, because this is a root, it's not like a potato who is a tuber. Uh, we need to make sweet potato slips. We make need to make the long branches come up with leaves and everything on, and those we will take off. We will plant them in glass of water, make them get roots and after that we can plant them out in the soil or in a big pot or whatever you like it. This is the steps you have to do to make sweet potatoes. You have to take sweet potatoes, make the sprouts, the slips, take them off so they get plants and you get more. And that is what they need to do now. So what do we need? Well with the soil method it's really rather interesting easy. Uh, because you don't have to have water and no toothpicks or glasses and anything or you have to control the water level stuff like that. No. And also I read that the slips comes much faster. Normally with the water method it's like six weeks before you have the, the sprouts. But with this method we will use now, they say like we can do it in three weeks and the sprouts, the slips, becomes stronger too. So if this works better, why do this method? I have no idea. So this will be very interesting to see which of these two methods is the best. Yeah, so what do we need? Well, we need an old pan. This is from the oven. It's in very bad condition. So we will use this. We will fill it up with uh, propagation, propagation, propagation soil. I think that is the name. Uh, the soil you use for seeds that is a not a very strong mixture in these and that is because well seeds have very small roots and they are sensitive it is too much nutrition so it's a mix of uh, sand in this too to make it uh, firmer and also not so high in nutrition we'll put them in here we'll bury the sweet potatoes halfway, but laying down like this, so halfway like that, like we do with the water, but we stand those like that with the water and have water level here. We'll put this down like this, halfway with soil. So uh, the sprouts need to have, what you say, you can't cover them up, so it's easy for them to come up. But of course, I need to make holes in this, otherwise. Be too much water, we need to have some drainage. So I'm sorry, it will be a little bit of noise now. My poor dog hates this now. He's very he's very nervous. use uh, the plastic tray as a tray underneath like this. Uh, maybe I'll raise it up a little bit. Yeah, no, I don't need to. I'll just put it like this so the water can you know, come from the soil if it's too much and get on the tray. Well, now we're ready. Let's open this up and uh, start putting in some soil. very bad knife. 
It's like a, a, a scrap knife. I use it for everything, so it has it has no edge left. Because I pound it through metal all the time. Well, I think this is deep enough. Maybe it's four centimeters deep, something like that. Uh, it's no point in making it deeper. I mean, it will only be for a very short time. This will make roots. They will make roots towards sweet potatoes, of course. But it doesn't have to be very deep. And I like, I like bury them down like this, like small animals. And uh, need to have some water too. Where have oh, I have no water here too. Move them a little bit to the side. And now I'm just packing it a little bit so they stay firm in good place. Ah, not that I will run around with the whole tray, of course, the whole. But never mind. Some water. Um, of course, you have to make sure that the water stay moist. You can't let it dry out. And also because these small these small buggers they love warmth. As I said in the video yesterday they love warmth more than sun when they are babies like this and they need to start sprouting. So if you have some way to heat this from underneath that would be optimal. Unfortunately, I don't have it because there is like, you know, the seedling uh, heating mat, you know, you put in the electricity and, and you have a constant heat underneath to make it warm. That would be like the best. I don't have it. But as I said yesterday, I have very warm radiators because it's still winter here. And I will, I will make in the window still, I will put this too so they have the heat underneath from the radiator. And hopefully this will grow fast because I'm really excited to see the difference between the water method and the sowing method. Which one is faster? This should be twice as fast as I read online and produce stronger sprouts than the water method. And yeah, I'm very curious. And also to see will it be a difference in quality and quantity from the produce we get after we put them out in, in, in the land too. Yeah, this will be very interesting because I want to have my fry soon. So how much can I produce? Well, as I said yesterday, uh, I have six sweet potatoes and each potato should give me about 15 of the sprouts, the slips. And of those 15, we get what we call 90 plants. 90 plants should each give me about one kilo, around four sweet potatoes per plant. So that will be 90 kilos. The interesting thing will be because the sprouts from these three, we will have separate from the sprouts from uh, the water sweet uh, potatoes. And I want to see, can we see any difference? Will they, we will get more or less sweet potatoes? Or do we see any difference in weight? But that is a result we have to wait a long time after the summer. So, well, this is all for this video. Uh, a short video about a second method of how to do it. And uh, I hope you liked this video. So like and subscribe and watch my other videos. And until next time, have a good day. Goodbye.